Hi, welcome to Calm in Action. My name is Michael Haig, and I'm a technical marketing engineer at Nutanix. Today we're going to be talking about the Calm DSL, which is now publicly available on GitHub. If you're not familiar, DSL stands for Domain Specific Language. However, the Calm team made a unique, but also great, choice to write the Calm DSL in Python rather than a custom or a markup language. So the DSL allows you to define your Calm blueprints in Python code, and then manage all aspects of Nutanix Calm from the command line. This includes creating blueprints, launching blueprints, and managing your applications. So all of this allows you to easily implement infrastructure as code and GitOps workflows. Today's video is focused on getting your workstation ready to use the DSL, and upcoming videos will dive into the DSL specifics. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we are within the GitHub Nutanix Calm DSL repository. Everything in the Calm DSL is open source, and we welcome pull requests if you're looking to contribute. Uh, before we get started, let's go ahead and take a look at an example blueprint. So we're going to go to the examples and then MS SQL and just select this Python file. So we'll dive into specifics in upcoming videos, uh, but just to show you how simple it is to define these blueprints uh, via the Python DSL language. In about 38 lines, we have it defined. So first thing I'm gonna do is fork the repository. Uh, one note I do wanna mention is it's best to keep separate repositories uh, from your personal blueprints, and then also if you're working on the DSL and looking to contribute. Uh, it's good to keep those segregated when you go to do pull requests. Your personal blueprints will not be in there. So now that it's forked, we're going to go ahead and grab the URL for this repo. And I'm going to expand my terminal session. And I'm going to go ahead and do a git clone on this repo. So that will copy the files down locally. We'll see here that I'm in my Mac OS terminal. And over here, I'm in a CentOS workstation. So I'm going to be doing both. Depending on your environment, you can follow along either in the Mac or the CentOS workflow. So if you scroll down on the repo, uh, you're going to see the getting started section. We're going to leave that for the next video. We want to do the dev setup here. So we're going to run through uh, both sides, the Mac OS and also uh, the CentOS version. For Mac, I already have Homebrew installed on my machine. Uh, as you can see here, I'll run Brew version, and it's installed. If you do not, then you'll need to uh, install it via that first command. Next up, uh, we're going to install some required packages. Again, I should have all these on my workstation, uh, but it doesn't hurt to run it again uh, just in case. Next, we're going to add flags. Uh, you could just run these each time you use the DSL. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw those in my bash profile, though, and that way every time I open a new terminal session, uh, these flags will already be present. And then I'll go ahead and source my bash profile to pick up these changes. And now we're ready to go ahead and move into the Calm DSL directory and run the make dev command. So this will ensure you have all the necessary software packages on your computer. If you run into any errors, uh, just Google that error and likely you're missing a software package. All right, and then next we're gonna go ahead and activate uh, the virtual environment. If you're not familiar with Python virtual environments, I definitely recommend uh, reading up on them. Uh, they're extremely useful. Uh, so we see here we now have the virtual env uh, at the bash prompt. When we're done working in the DSL, we can run deactivate. So that's it for the Mac user. Now let's go ahead and look at CentOS. So first let's change into the Calm DSL and then run the make init CentOS. This is going to install any necessary software packages on your computer. There's also a couple other packages you may need to install. Uh, so first is GCC, and then next is the uh, OpenSSL uh, development. And then lastly, we need to install Virtual Env. So this is a brand new CentOS workstation, so I've never installed it before. So now that we have all the necessary software installed, we can go ahead and run make dev again. Just like the Mac command, this is just making sure that we have all the necessary software uh, in this particular workstation. All right, so now that that's set, again, we're going to run the source uh, activate command, and that will bring us into the virtual Python environment. So there you have it. You're now ready to start working with the Calm DSL. 
Stay tuned for upcoming videos where we're going to dive into the specifics of the Calm DSL. Thanks for your time today.